Hello, I'm, I'm in the workshop and I've just completed shaping the back for um, an arch top mandolin project. Um, most of you who are probably watching this video know me for my um, flat top mandolins, but I've been thinking about building um, an arch top for a long, long time. Um, so here, here's, here's the back, um, fully carved. The shape that I'm using for this one is based on my standard mandolin shape. Um, I didn't want to, to, to make another F5 replica. There are many great luthiers out there who, who make some beautiful F5 instruments, but really I wanted to bring something different to the party. So this is the back, fully carved. You can see that I'm using mahogany. Um, the more the more I use mahogany for, as a tone wood, the more more I like it. So I thought it'd be interesting to give it a try on the um, on the carved on the arch top. So this is the the back plate, say fully carved and sh and shaped. And um, here is the rim. You can see obviously that I've, I've bent the sides. Inside the rim, I've got some um, maple linings. These are solid linings, five millimeters thick, and that makes the rim incredibly rigid. I always use a piece of plywood for the towel block. You've got to remember you're screwing the towel piece to this, so if the screw's going through into the block, you want to eliminate the possibility of it splitting at any point in the future, so it makes sense to use um, plywood. Um, for the neck block, I'm using um, some spruce, I have laminated it, again, to make it um, stronger. But one of the things that I wanted to do with the, with the neck block is lose a little bit of weight because clearly the instrument is gonna be heavier than my uh, flat tops normally are. As, as I mentioned previously, I'm using um, mahogany for the back and sides. And as you can see, it really is a lovely piece of mahogany. D quite difficult to get wood of this quality these days. But, but this isn't the first time that this piece of mahogany has been used. Um, it came to Amanda and I in the form of a desk. Um, we, we had this when we used to live in, in, in an old uh, chapel a while ago. Um, but it, it now being redundant, we we thought that the best thing to do was to try to recycle, upcycle, whatever you want to call it. So this old desk will rise phoenix-like into um, a beautiful musical instrument. And it gives me great joy, really, to, 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 to think that um, this tree may have been cut down a couple of hundred years ago. It's had one life and now it's having another life rather than just going to landfill. Well, with the, the, the back plate carved, the rim completed, the next step will be for me to carve the um, Engelmann spruce um, soundboard or top plate. Now, I said to you I've been thinking about this design for a long time. I actually glued these two pieces of wood together eight years ago, so that gives you an idea of how long I've been mulling this over. So um, that's my next step and um, I'll show you the results in the next um, video. So thanks for watching. Cheers, goodbye.